In this tutorial, I'll guide you through deploying DeepSeq R1 on your local machine. We'll cover installing Olama, downloading a distilled version of R1, and using the Langchain library to create AI agents. As an open source model, DeepSeq R1 is available for anyone to use. However, with 671 billion parameters, it demands substantial computational resources beyond the reach of most individual data scientists or developers. To address this, DeepSeq has released distilled versions of R1, ranging from 1.5 billion to 70 billion parameters, enabling users to run smaller versions of R1 locally, even on a laptop. I recommend starting with a smaller version, such as the 1.5 billion or 7 billion parameter model, and gradually upgrading based on your computer's performance and processing time. For reference, on my 2020 MacBook with an M1 chip, the optimal version is the 8 billion parameter model. Let's get started by going to the Olama website, olama.com, and downloading the installer. Follow the directions to install the application. Now open up a terminal or command prompt and write olama run deepseek r1 colon, and then the size of the parameter model. This will install DeepSeq R1 on your computer. If you just care about using it as a general offline chatbot, you're all set. You can chat with the model through the terminal. In the rest of the video, I'll guide you through building simple AI agents that can execute reproducible tasks at scale using the Langchain library. As an example, we'll create a corporate crisis management team that responds to negative press headlines such as product recalls or other reputational risks. This setup will involve multiple agents working together. First, the crisis management expert agent will draft a press statement addressing the situation. Then, the statement will be reviewed by the legal expert agent whose role is to ensure the response doesn't expose the company to potential legal liability. Begin by creating a new Python environment in your terminal using version 3.12.8, and then install with pip the following packages, Langchain, Langchain Olama, and IPy kernel. We next shift to a Jupyter notebook and import the necessary libraries and functions from Langchain. The sequential chain and LLM chain components allow us to define and execute structured AI workflows, while prompt template provides a way to structure our AI's input in a consistent format. We also import Olama LLM, which gives us access to DeepSeq through our local Olama server. We then initialize the AI model by creating an instance of Olama LLM and specifying our preferred DeepSeq model. With the model set, we define the prompts that instruct each AI agent on their specific role and objectives. To ensure flexibility, we use the prompt template function, which allows us to dynamically change the crisis scenario without modifying the underlying prompt. The crisis management agent is responsible for drafting a professional and reassuring statement. Its prompt template takes in a single input variable, the issue, which we will define later. The issue is then inserted into the structured prompt, guiding the AI to acknowledge the problem, reassure customers and the public, and outline corrective actions. Once the initial statement is generated, it is passed to the legal expert agent for review. This agent ensures that the response minimizes legal culpability by removing risky language and avoiding direct admissions of fault. Its prompt template takes in a different input variable, the crisis response, which is produced by the crisis management agent. The legal expert then refines the statement and explains any changes made, ensuring transparency in the review process. By structuring the prompts this way, we create a modular and adaptable system where any crisis scenario can be addressed simply by updating the input description. Once the prompts are set, we define LLM chains to execute each agent's task. An LLM chain represents a step in the workflow where a prompt is sent to the model and a response is generated. The first chain, crisis chain, takes in the issue and generates a press statement. Its output, crisis response, is then passed to legal chain, which refines it to remove legal risks. This ensures the final legal response is both professional and legally sound. To automate execution, we use the sequential chain function, which links both agents so that the legal expert automatically receives and edits the crisis team statement. The input is the issue, and the outputs include both the original and legally reviewed responses for easy comparison. Pulling the crisis response as an output variable isn't necessary, but I'm including it to allow for a direct comparison with the final legal response. 
we can now add the crisis scenario and save it as an object. I'm going to set it as a recent news headline about a car recall. With our initial input set, we can execute the workflow by running the crisis management chain we previously set up. The processing time will depend on your computer's hardware and the DeepSeq model you chose. We can print out the final output from both of our agents and evaluate whether both agents did their jobs. If you found this video useful, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the Deep Charts channel for more tutorials on the latest AI models and tools.